Processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. What else is on there? Looks like they were in contact many times. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. The whole world was horrified at what Batman did to Falcone. You terrorized the mayor, too. You could lose Gotham's goodwill completely. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Batman is the sure bet. city is already afraid of the Batman after what you did to Falcone. Try not to make things worse by going overboard on Hill. Battering the mayor is not a good option, despite his more than checkered reputation. Alfred, I'm not in the mood for a lecture. The city will thank me later if Hill tells me Penguin's plans. Deborah, you incompetent! Dent's up in the polls. I need to crucify him in the debate or we can kiss re-election and your job goodbye. You'd better be back here in the next 15 minutes or I'm cutting your pay. Who's that? Deborah? Was that you? It's just, just you, you and me. me. Old man. Oh, no. What are you doing here? You know who Penguin is. So I've heard of him. So what? I've got nothing to do with that lowlife. Do you hear me? You're leaving out a few details. <gasps> I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Wayne, there's the real problem. He's the one you should be after. Every fiber of his being built on lies. His status. His fortune. Nice try. But Bruce Wayne is clean. No one born into a pile of crap that deep can come out clean. I witnessed firsthand the atrocities of his family. And he's the one who profited. <gasps> Security! Pick up, goddammit! Security! Don't kill me! I've done nothing wrong! Why come to you? Because I knew about Arkham Asylum and what was done to those poor people. Penguin wants revenge for what happened to his mother. Thomas Wayne sent her to Arkham, along with who knows how many other innocents. Nothing was wrong with any of them until Thomas locked them up. 
Why would Thomas Wade lock up innocent people? Anyone that stood in Thomas's way got knocked down, one way or the other. Whatever happened in the past, it's nothing compared to what's happening now. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sins. <gasps> no. Please. Don't. Oh, no. <sighs> They'll have to go through me first. If I hadn't given Penguin what he wanted, he would have struck the debate tonight. I didn't just do this for myself. I'm trying to protect Gotham. Finally. About damn time. It's Batman! Shoot him! Come on, get the mayor out of here! I heard everything, Master Bruce. What he said about your father, it must be difficult to process. I need to know what went on in Arkham Asylum. Uh, indeed. I'm just as frustrated as you are. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. What else is on here? As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. But... Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To hear their crimes detailed. First by Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you, now more than ever. I'll, uh, leave you to it, then. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic, perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out, but police say a brawl tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in Otisburg was the rowdiest one in recent memory. Reports say multiple arrests were made, with all the suspects taken into custody while unconscious. Police are seeking an unidentified man and woman who were seen in conversation with the assailants shortly before the fight. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, Rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic, perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign.
Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's not exactly... Ha Harvey, listen to me. Your life is in danger. Because of Penguin and his thugs? Thanks, but there is an army of security here. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. It's not overkill, Harvey. It's a real... Please. I need to get this off my chest. Uh, look... Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. I, I get it. It's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember. You are always my friend. Harvey! <laughs> so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. I just had the mayor in my ear about your visit. And after what you did to Falcone... Listen, I value you looking out for the city. Really. People are terrified of you. Including my cops. Fine by me. Just give me the report so I can protect the debate. Fine. Just do it without splitting anyone in half, huh? The GCPD has orders to take you in. After tonight, I can't stand in their way anymore. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door! You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? The break-in isn't important. Protecting the debate is. You should be thrilled. You're getting a twofer. And double the trouble from the looks of it. Well, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. 
That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Now well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. Now we are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger, Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rates, income inequality, and yes, a masked vigilante loose on our streets. Candidates will tackle it all. <gasps> At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn so sons of- sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business... Firing the moderator! I hate to be a downer, but these hostages... I don't like their chances. Oh, uh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. Casualties are inevitable. It's only a question of how many. Inspiring. You really know how to pep a girl up. <gasps> You'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there? Yes! Yes! Oh, Thank you wait. for volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Gotta take them out quietly. On the left. Out of her. Easy. 
Rule two, scratching, biting, and kicking each other are all encouraged. Rule three, always, always tell the truth, even if it hurts. It'll go worse if you know. <clears throat> Ask that guy. your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My Dalton, brothers and sisters of Gotham, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption that ruined your city. For too long, Men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. I knew this was too big for Oswald alone. Someone else is pulling the strings. Smart. Let someone else do the dirty work. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Chosen to Go on, love. You know what to do. Ah! Man. 
around. You certainly know how to make an entrance. Go! Why don't you kick the crap out of here? Stop! I had him killed because of it! Get away from my back, my poor old mum! So this is for her. How about you kill anyone else? What's your turn, Dent? your mate, Bruce Wayne, your biggest supporter, and he didn't even turn up. Batman! The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! Let Dent go! And what if I don't? I'll crush every bone in your body. I knew you'd say something like that. after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. He won't be the same after this. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public.
representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. Next time on Batman, the Telltale series. You may have saved me, but this isn't over. You don't know these people, Bruce. Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... they want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know what I want. No more hiding! Not for anyone! But don't worry! Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him! Bruce! Bruce! <laughs>